Good morning, students. Today, we are going to do an experiment that is isolation of DNA. DNA is a genetic material we all know. It is a genetic material of all the eukaryotes. In some prokaryotes, RNA is also genetic material such as viruses. Here, structure of DNA, it cons constitute of double helix. This is the skeleton and the distance between two nucleotide skeleton is 20 angstrom. One is major groove having 34 angstrom and minor groove having 3.4 angstrom. Phosphoric acid, nitrogenous bases constitute of purines and pyrimidines. Purines are conjugated structure having one six member compound nitrogenous and one immidazole ring and pyrimidine is simple six carbon compound having nitrogenous, it is a conjugated structure having nitrogen also. So, it is bound alternately so that it can maintain a universal distance of 20 angstrom of the two skeleton means purine always binds with pyrimidine pyrimidine binds with purine. Now, the main objective of this experiment is to isolate DNA from plant material. As we know in biotechnology experiment without taking out DNA, we cannot uh, means make a recombinant DNA without taking out DNA. So, we first understand how to take out DNA. Isolation of DNA from plant material requires ripened banana, you may take papaya, spinach also, motor and pestle, beakers, test tube, strainers, salt, NaCl, liquid determin detergent is required, chilled ethanol, spool and distilled water. Why we use NaCl detergent and chilled ethanol? NaCl sodium chloride that is a common salt, it makes the DNA more hydrophobic, so that it can be dissolved in, it, uh, it can less dissolve in water, non-polar solution. Okay? And NaCl also binds with uh, um, phosphoric acid which helps in removing proteins of chemicals, sodium chloride that is common salt, it makes the DNA less soluble in water and making DNA more hydrophobic by binding with phosphoric acid, it also helps in removing the proteins. Detergent, it helps in dissolving cell membrane, removes the protein in between the phospholipids. Chilled ethanol, it is a non-polar solvent, makes DNA even more hydrophobic and so that it can precipitate well. Now students, let the practical should start. Here, I have cut the banana, I have cut ripened papaya also. By peeler, you can peel off ripened banana. By mortar and pestle, you can make a paste, fine paste of raw banana. See, the paste has been prepared, banana was ripened, so it was very easy to make paste. It takes less than 4 or 5 minutes, now it is in a form of slurry. 
so it has to be filtered out it has to be filtered out with the help of this spatula i am taking out banana paste slurry slowly i'll add water because it's a thick in nature it's thick in nature it will not filter out easily without the help of some amount of water water should be used distilled water i prefer to use distilled water because don't want to take any risk distilled water is pure water stir it gently so that enough amount of cells should be filtered and must enter into the test tube with the liquid part of this slurry keep on stirring now enough cellular part has been strained here thereafter i have taken a teaspoon full of sodium chloride that is common salt general salt and i am mixing liquid detergent that is almost one teaspoonful of liquid detergent i have to mix it well with the stirrer this is a test tube and this is measuring test tube i have to measure 10 ml of 10 ml of this nacl and liquid detergent you have to take precaution that it must be measurement of 10 ml this is 10 ml of nacl and liquid detergent solution now 
this 10 ml of extract banana cell suspension, ripened banana cell suspension. Yes, it is exactly 10 ml. Thereafter, I have to use chilled ethanol. This is chilled ethanol. It is to be used to make the DNA precipitate exactly 10 ml. Now, see students having mixed the chilled ethanol, how DNA is separating and white precipitate is settling at the bottom. This white precipitate is DNA. I am trying to eke out this DNA, this pool. See students, in my spool, enough DNA is there. So, by this way we can isolate DNA from plant products and having a isolating the DNA we can make recombinant DNA in biotechnology experiments. That experiment khatam ho gaya. So, students by this way we can isolate DNA from the plant products and this technique is very important because without isolating DNA, we cannot make recombinant DNA in the biotechnology. So, this is the very important and very significant experiment as far as biotechnology is concerned.